Greetings to all lovers of mysteries and secrets. The unknown and mysterious have always captivated human beings. Indeed, our earth holds many secrets. Even now, we do not know for certain what lies beneath it. No one can say with absolute certainty what is beneath your feet. However, what lies at depths of tens or hundreds of kilometers remains classified. Why was the Kola Superdeep Borehole dug? Why were excavations truly halted? Let's investigate. Most people are unaware of what lies beneath their feet. We literally walk on history. The entire ground is a cultural layer preserving more knowledge than history textbooks. The truth is literally beneath our feet. But if you decide to dig it up, rest assured that you won't be allowed to. After all, the world's deepest borehole was sealed without explanation. Or were there reasons after all? In Soviet times, underground construction was a major and important industry. The Soviet Union required vast quantities of natural resources. But is everything so straightforward? Among all these boreholes, there is one unique one on the planet, the legendary Kola Superdeep Borehole, whose depth remains unmatched. What did the workers discover, and why were they so frightened? Today, we will find out. It's important to understand that underground construction in the USSR was a significant and vital sector, including metro systems, bunkers, and underground passages. All of this, in one way or another, contributed to the development of the Soviet economy and science as a whole. A scientific national school was even established, whose specialists designed and planned unique facilities, most of which remain classified. However, one of the projects became known worldwide. In May 1970, drilling of the Kola Superdeep Borehole began, a task comparable in complexity to space exploration. The construction of this borehole started in 1970 and continued until nearly 1991, a total of 21 years. This borehole became the deepest on Earth and even made it into the Guinness World Records. By 1990, the Kola Superdeep Borehole had reached a depth of 12,262 meters. At first glance, this number may seem astounding. If artifacts are found just a few meters deep, it's terrifying to imagine what could be found at a depth of 12 kilometers. However, according to scientists, nothing interesting was discovered, despite the ongoing drilling. This raises the question, why were they drilling then? It's worth noting that drilling itself has a long history, dating back to ancient times when the first boreholes were used to extract saline solutions from deep soil layers. Even in those distant times, Boreholes reached depths of up to 900 meters with diameters of 15 to 20 centimeters. Russian drilling history, however, started much later, with the first documented evidence of boreholes dating back to the 9th century. These boreholes were also used to extract salt solutions from deep soil layers. The Kola Superdeep borehole was not drilled in search of salt solutions or even oil. The goal was to discover what lay beneath the Earth's surface. The appearance of the Kola drilling site might disappoint the average person. The borehole doesn't resemble the mine that our imagination conjures. There are no shafts leading underground, only a drill with a diameter slightly over 20 centimeters goes into the ground. What's happening at the depths remains unknown. Environmental conditions, noises, and other parameters are transmitted with a minute delay. Nevertheless, drillers report that even this contact with the underground can be quite frightening. 
The main reason for drilling super deep boreholes is the potential existence of previously unexplored objects beneath the Earth's surface. Each layer of the Earth's crust is like a page in history. Throughout 1970, regular drilling was conducted using a conventional drilling rig. However, the work had to be halted, and a new installation called Euromash 15000 was constructed on the site of the borehole. This drilling rig resembled a 20-story building, covered on top with plywood sheets to enable work during the winter. Soviet scientists used turbine drilling, a method in which only the drilling bit inside the borehole rotates under the pressure of incoming liquid. Only about four hours a day were spent on actual drilling at great depths, with the rest of the time dedicated to raising the pipes to the surface. During this time, the drill managed to penetrate through 7 to 10 meters of rock. To cover a distance of 7 kilometers, the drillers spent a total of 4 years. Delving into the Earth's soil is no easy task. At depth, temperatures and pressures constantly rise. The closer we get to the Earth's core, the hotter it becomes. Workers managed to reach a record depth only in 1990. Then, an accident occurred, and from 1994, work on the borehole was permanently halted. Here's what one of the workers had to say. After reaching 12 kilometers, the drill got stuck and fell into something molten. Perplexed geologists decided to investigate this anomaly and lowered a microphone into the depths. Before melting from the 1000 degree heat, the microphone transmitted horrifying cries to the surface. This is the kind of folklore that surrounds the world's deepest borehole. But what really happened down there? Indeed, the drill bit was retrieved twice melted, although according to its specified parameters, it should only melt at temperatures comparable to the surface of the sun. Workers reported that the drill bit seemed to be yanked one day, and then the cable snapped. When they later drilled in the same spot, they found no trace of the cable. But what astonished people the most was the story of a retired military officer. He told a tale of a secret pedestrian shaft alongside the borehole, which was deliberately drilled later to see what had happened. However, all discussion of this mysteriously ceased, as if it never happened. Officially, the borehole was terminated due to a lack of funding. Coincidentally or not, in 1995, a powerful unexplained explosion occurred in the shaft's depths. When UNESCO asked me about this mysterious story, I didn't know what to say. On one hand, it's nonsense. On the other hand, as an honest scientist, I couldn't say I knew exactly what happened. A very strange sound was recorded, followed by an explosion. Several days later, nothing unusual was found at the same depth, recalled David Guberman, the head of the Kola borehole. Guberman regrets how many scientific discoveries were made at the Kola Superdeep borehole. It was revealed that the Earth's history was not as previously thought. Up to four kilometers, everything aligned with the theory, but beyond that, things became surreal, Guberman explained. For instance, at depths where it was believed there was no organic matter, 14 species of fossilized microorganisms were discovered. At even greater depths, where there were no sedimentary rocks, large amounts of methane appeared. This completely shattered the theory of the biological origin of hydrocarbons such as oil and gas. It seems that as soon as this borehole began to recreate our real history, its funding was abruptly cut. After that, a series of unforeseen accidents began to occur, walls collapsed, explosions happened, and the causes of these and many other incidents remain a mystery to this day. Indeed, where there's smoke, there's fire, and one local legend says, when they first drilled the borehole, the workers suddenly came across voids. Intrigued by this unexpected discovery, the drillers lowered a microphone into the void. On the microphone recordings, eerie cries resembling soul-wrenching screams could be heard. Without a doubt, this legend is embellished. 
For instance, microphones were not used at that time. Acoustic methods for studying boreholes use seismometers, which record not sound, but the wave pattern of reflected elastic vibrations. However, they could indeed record sounds only on paper, which was accessible only to individuals with a certain level of security clearance. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, getting a job at the Kola Superdeep Borehole was more challenging than joining a team of cosmonauts. Out of hundreds of candidates, only one or two were selected. Those fortunate enough to receive employment orders were given separate apartments and salaries equal to double or triple the wages of Moscow's academics. An engineer at the Kola Superdeep Borehole earned seven times more than a typical Soviet engineer. Three salaries could buy you a car. At any given time, 16 research laboratories were operating at the borehole, each the size of an average factory. Can you imagine the scale of this operation? Did all of this really shut down due to a lack of funding in an instant? It seems to me that there's more to the story here, and the real reasons for closing the Kola Superdeep borehole were far more serious than a financial shortage. What do you think? Share this video with your loved ones so that they, too, may know the truth. Don't forget to subscribe, as there are many more fascinating investigations to come. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next videos.